Hey guys, it's Files, Chad Files. Uh, today I'm just going to go over the process that how I make my base because I notice a lot of people are getting into it and I just want to teach everyone how I do it, how my process works. So we start off with layer base. This is a basic layer base that I made. It's compatible with Takartomi and Hasbro drivers. I made the teeth bigger so that Hasbro drivers work better with it and the clicks are actually there. But this layer is a pretty good layer. Uh, I'm going to have files to download it in the description. And this is just a process that I do. So I see a lot of people using the scribble tool. And the scribble tool is cool and all. Like you can draw your shapes and get everything that you want. But it's also really unreliable and hard to get some good shapes with. Which is why I usually start off with just a simple box shape. Rather than adding on to it with other shapes like this and stuff, I, I cut away from the main shape. So to do that, you use these hole tools. You can change any solid object into a hole object just by tapping that button. And what that does is, well, I'll just show you what it does. If you set that in a way that you like on that, and then you can swipe over both of the shapes or you can shift click both of them and group them together using the group button up there it'll group them together and it'll cut away from the main shape um but that's just how i do that to round corners i use this tube tool you make the tube tool bigger so that it doesn't interfere with the rest of the model and then you can increase the amount of sides, which you should always do just to make it smoother. And turn that into a hole to tool. Uh, this darker part here is the part that it's going to cut away. So once you have that in a position that you like, just group them together like before. And now it's rounded. Now let's assume this blade is what we're fine with. Look over at your layer real quick. See how big it is. 41.4 millimeters about on each side. We're going to make a cylinder and make it the exact same size. 41.4 in each direction. And then we're going to just put it over by our blade, increase the amount of sides that this has just to make it smoother, and group them together in a way that this is just going to save you a lot of trouble later on down the line when you're going to have to put this actually on the bay. To make this in line with the bay, you're going to want this 8.1 millimeters high. Now put that in a position that you like on your bay blade. So I think I like that. And what you're going to do now is press Control C and V to get an exact copy of that piece. Turn it 180 degrees using this turning tool. You can use snap rotation by being closer to the center of the model, and then move it over to the opposite side of the lay layer base. Now you're going to want to group your two shapes together. Next we're going to use this align tool, which you can press L or you can just press this to align it so that it's all even. Press these two center bubbles and that'll centrally align it. Now, some people are going to be fine with, oh, I just want two contact points. Some want four, and to do four, you just do the same thing, centrally align them, and then you're just going to rotate this 90 degrees. Now it's completely in line how it should be. And again, if you want like eight contact points, you can copy that, rotate it, 45 degrees, align it again, and you've got 8, but I don't like that, so. As you can see, I'm, I'm using a free recording thing, so it's just what's convenient for me. But this is the process that I do every time that I sit down to make something. As you get, like, better and better at this, this is going to become more fluid, you're going to get...